good morning i'll continue from the last session last session we were talking about average and rms value and we finished average value and we were discussing about rms value rms i said rms is root mean square value so in statistics it's something like first you take the square value like you know uh, if you have some n number of values for this current like you take n samples i1 i2 i3 etc up to n square all these values then take the mean and then square root so square root of the mean of the squares so in general i can say that the root mean square value is obtained by taking the mean of the square of the mean of the square of the instantaneous values over one complete cycle so we can say that the effective value or the root mean square value is that direct current that would produce the same power dissipation in a resistive load so actually this rms value is measured in term of of the power dissipated in the cycle so first uh, power dissipated in the circuit so first what i will do is i will give you the definition then i'll tell you how you can calculate the root mean square value if you know the peak value of the alternating current root mean square value is also called as effective value root mean square value or effective value or you can call it as rms value of alternating current of an alternating current is that is that value of steady current current is that value of steady current which when passed through a resistance for a given time which when pass through a resistance which when pass through a resistance for a given time would produce the same amount of heat would produce the same amount of heat as is produced by the alternating current in the same time as is produced by the alternating current in the same resistance in the same resistance in the same time the effective value is measured in terms of the heat produced i have given the definition now let me explain what it is first let me read this root mean square value or effective value of an alternating current is that value of steady current so it is equal to a steady current or constant current but what is the value of that constant current or the steady current it is that current which when passed through a resistance for a given time would produce the same amount of heat as is produced by the alternating current in the same resistance in the same time now it's a very big sentence so let me explain it step by step now you take a resistance r and let you are passing an alternating current through
through this. And let us say this current is given by I is Im sin omega t. When this current is passed through this R, there is some heat production or there is some loss or heat is produced. Now take the same resistance, replace this current by a steady current and the value of that current is IRMS. When you pass a DC current which is equal to the RMS value of this alternating current, it will produce the same heat as produced by this. Therefore, the IRMS is equal to one constant current and in case of sinusoidally varying current it is given by I am by root 2 the maximum value divided by root 2. What you do is take this resistance R and pass an alternating current for some period say like you are passing for 5 minutes and measure the heat produced. Now in the second case take the same value of R and pass a current which is equal to peak value of the alternating current by root 2 for the same time 5 minutes and measure the heat produced or the power dissipated using a watt meter you will get the same amount of heat and this RMS value of current is very important because this is the one which we take for all our calculation purpose. Now if you have an alternating current and if this is the peak value I am pi t pi this is symmetric it should be a symmetric wave actually. Now your RMS current will be I am by root 2 somewhere here ok. So this current will be equal to I am by root 2. The steady current, constant current. Now hope you understood this. So RMS current is always positive because uh, root means square. So we are already taking square. That is why this negative half cycle when you take square it becomes positive. So we, you will just simply get one current and it is measured for one complete cycle. To find out, so let me explain once again here. Take two equal resistors like R. Okay, So to take two circuits identical resistances, one connected to a DC that means a battery, another one connected to a sinusoidal voltage source. Then you take two watt meters and measure the heat produced or you know power dissipated. The heat produced will be same if you make this DC current equal to I am by root 2 that is the RMS value. The RMS value is actually measured in terms of the heat produced. Now take a small sum here just to understand how to calculate the RMS and average value. The current flowing the current flowing through the current flowing through a pure inductance The current flowing through a pure inductance a pure inductance two milli henry is I equal to fifteen cos. 15 cos 300 T. 
fifteen cos three hundred t. What is the RMS and average value of the current? What is the RMS and average value of the current for a complete cycle? Okay, it's very simple. The current is given. So given current I is fifteen cos three hundred T. Now you compare it with the given um, value of the current with the standard equation. So the standard equation we have I naught sine omega T. I naught sine omega T. So here this is I naught. Peak value or I m in the previous case we take it as peak value is I m. So peak current is therefore R M S value of current. I R M S. As I am by root, therefore it is fifteen by root two. Fifteen by root two, and that much amperes. Now, what is the average current? So he is asking. Average current for one complete cycle. Sorry, here uh, you write current. Current for one complete cycle. The current for one complete cycle is zero because it is a symmetric value. Average value of current for one complete cycle is zero because of symmetry. Average value of current for one complete cycle yes zero i average is zero because of symmetry when you take the average value for one complete cycle it becomes Zero. Hope you understood this average and RMS value. In the coming class, we'll see what is phase and phase difference. That's also important.